Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 411. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Outside link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 407 to 414. Hey, in this trick here, we have a data set, and there's some invoice order numbers, and some yes and no's. And we need to add with two criteria. So for example, there's this invoice, and yes, what we need here is the cumulative total. Right? But as we copy our formula down, when we get to the same invoice and a second yes, here we need to actually add this plus this. So there's two things going on here. One is we're adding with two criteria in uh, order number and yes or no. And secondarily, we're going to have to use an expandable range to get this trick to work. Right? We're going to use the sum ifs. The sum ifs is easy. We just uh, it, the sum ifs adds with two criteria. Now, if you don't have 2007 or 2010, you need to use a sum product variant on this. But we're going to use uh, sum ifs. Sum ifs is more efficient uh, in terms of speed than the sum products. Sum products is more versatile. You can do more things. But for this situation, very awesome. Uh, function to use. Now, the sum range, we're always going to be adding our total line cost. So actually, before I do this, let me show you what an expandable range does. I'm going to click here on a cell, and the trick is you hit Shift colon. It adds uh, C12 to C12. And you want to lock the first range with your F4 key. So you put your cursor there and then hit F4. I'm going to lock it in front of the number only. Now, expandable range, this will be locked. This is not. That's a relative. Control Enter. When you copy it down, uh, the formula result is meaningless. I'm just showing you how that expandable range works. That's an expandable range. Actually, just a few video go videos ago, uh, 407, I showed you a shink shrinking range. That's where you lock. Uh, this one, but not this one. And you have the whole range. Um, well, you have to go to back to 407 to see that. All right, that's going to be the conceptual trick, is in all four arguments in our function, we're going to be use, using expandable ranges. I'm going to delete all that. Equals sum ifs. Now, the sum range, it's this. Shift colon. Put your cursor in front of the first one, and then F4 to lock it in front of the number, because we're copying it down across the rows and we want it locked. There's the sum range. Now, sum ifs, totally awesome. Uh, it's got criteria range, and then criteria, and then criteria range 2, and then criteria 2. Our first criteria is simply going to be our um, order number. So I click in that cell, Shift colon, click in this one right here, F4, F4. OK, comma. Now, criteria, it's always going to be a relative cell reference. Please look at the order number uh, four cells to our left. So that's the criteria, comma. Criteria range 2. Oh, we need another expandable range, but on this column. Click there, Control, colon, shift, uh, click in the first cell, and then hit the F4. That is our criteria range 2, either yes or no, so comma. And then I'm just going to put yes in quotes. If you don't put it in quotes, it thinks it's a name. And it will give you a name error, unless you have a range named yes. Close parentheses right there, and because the, we only have two, Control Enter. Now I can double click and send it down. And we'll just pick one. Did everything expand? You betcha. How about here? You betcha. Now when we get down to. Uh, it's a no there, so that even though that's the invoice, no is one of the criteria was not met, so it gives us a zero. Here it added that, but what did it do down here? It should have added this one and this one. Well, let's check. Equals this plus this, and sure enough, I think if you go down to here, it has uh, still another one to add. But it does it for all of the invoices, so you get your cumulative total for whatever order number there is. Uh, total line cost cumulative. All right, uh, some ifs and expandable ranges. We'll see you next trick.